You know, some people can look at it as beneficial, but then you do have people now asking way too many questions that I don't blame them for asking because of all this stuff that's floating around, but it's got nothing to do with the booking. But do you want to hit the super facta of AEW stories since you talked about those two? You talked about the backstage meeting. I'm surprised that you haven't seen any of the scuttlebutt or feedback when it comes to Eddie Kingston and Sammy Guevara because that seemed to be a big deal this morning. I don't know if that's now cooled off during the day, but Eddie Kingston apparently pie-facing Sammy Guevara for calling him fat in retaliation for a, I guess, a... A vignette or a interview being scrapped at where Guevara uh, called him a fat piece of s to what everybody thought was going to build up a match between the two. Uh, any thoughts on that? And have you uh, heard any of the feedback on that? Is the chat going nuts over that one? About which one? <laughs> Sammy and Eddie. Well, listen. Here's here's the thing with Sammy and Eddie. Okay. Here's the thing with Sammy and Eddie. I don't know what happened. Okay. I don't know what happened. And what's interesting about this story is I have heard different versions that contradict. Oh, I'm shocked. (laughs) And uh, so I I don't I don't want to. I wasn't. Listen, if I'm not there and I hear contradicting stories, I can't tell you what the truth is. I don't know. That's it. I mean, there's there's a version that it was a only a verbal dispute. And there's a version that it was not only a verbal dispute. And I don't know what happened. So there was for sure a dispute, and Eddie did get suspended. Sammy did not get suspended, and Eddie said that he felt very bad about it, and he's sorry about it, and uh, and I, you know what I did hear from people, though? It's like, I heard, man, you know, there's been a lot of stuff that has gone down over the last however long. And what everyone what everyone was always saying was like Tony's got to lay down the hammer. He's got to lay down the hammer. You can't let the inmates run the asylum. And I did hear from you were like, it is kind of sad that the first guy that got the hammer laid down was Eddie Kingston because for the most part everybody <laughs> loves Eddie Kingston. And uh, you know, what, listen everybody, it's wrestling, and it's not just wrestling; it's the world. Okay, there are big stars that are going to get away with a lot more than guys who aren't as big a star. And it happens in WWE. It happens in AEW. If you work at Papa John's, it happens there. It happens everywhere. Okay, and uh, and you know Tony did lay down the law, and so hopefully the fact that he laid down the law might help things a little bit. But at the end of the day, it's there are people that get the law laid down on, and there are others don't. And don't think people don't notice that. <laughs> uh, well. That's what happens, unfortunately. And again, there's pros and cons that you can try to make chicken salad out of with some of these situations. But, you know, it's funny when it comes to Eddie and Sammy, that's something that, you know, 20 years ago, maybe 20 years ago now, but like, you know, 25, 30 years ago, wouldn't have been a story. It wouldn't have been an issue. It would have been nobody probably even would have heard of that one. That one probably would have stayed in the locker room. But, you know, when it comes to the other ones, all this... It's a lot of drama, and it's a lot of unneeded drama, and they do actually have to put a cap on some of this stuff because it does impact how their viewership is, you know, uh, judging their television show and and how they're, I mean, all of the talk over people losing their minds over Punk and Moxley, because I thought at first it was like a little bit overblown, like, all right, people really losing their minds, and it was like, people are really going off into like dark conspiracy theories as to what was going on, and it's like, it's just a story to get to Chicago because you probably want to have CM Punk win in Chicago since the last time he was there, he lost to MJF and you want a way to legitimize Moxley's reign because he, you're, you're apparently you're going to be doing this interim champion thing a lot. So you kind of want to do that. And it was an idea that worked. I, to me, it did at least. So to see people go off into conspiracies, you know, it's kind of by your own hand because so much has gotten out there. Although, Tony Khan has repeatedly said that he one of the things that drives him nuts are the leaks. I I think there's something he needs to probably figure out there, too, with how he speaks sometimes to media and how he does some things if he doesn't want his people to do it. I got to say one thing, though. I got to say one thing, though. Good. And, uh, you know, this is 
listen, I, I know people don't like leaks and everything like that, but I've said this a million times, okay? I virtually never, ever am told what's going to happen in AEW. I often hear after the fact, you know, it'll be explained to me after the fact, but I, I virtually will never hear what's going to happen. And when I predict what's going to happen, and it's not just me, you and a lot of people, we get it right a lot, and it's not because of a leak. It's because Tony books in a logical manner, it was and if you yeah. think about it, it's obvious where things are going to go. It's not a leak. The leak is you booked well. You made it competent. Yeah, I have to get leaks in WWE when Vince was there because nothing made sense. The only way I ever knew what was going on was because of a leak. But in AEW, I don't need any leaks. It's pretty plain to see where things are going most of the time. Back in a moment, Observer Live. This was the best thing on the show, and uh, the show was all downhill from there. So uh, I guess I can continue on. To uh, Dana Brooke beat Becky Lynch. Did I really see this? And that, my friends, is Monday Night Raw. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.